Alrighty, we're gonna have a little bonus Monday stream. What's up, everybody? Monkey Puzzle here, and uh, yeah, it's my day off. My son's at work today. I did a little adulting. I'm gonna do some more after this. I'm gonna do a short little bonus Monday stream. I don't normally stream on Mondays, um, but I'm just gonna stream maybe like a few hours today and see how it goes. But uh, I normally stream on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, so. Yeah, when I go outside of that, it's a bonus. So what's up, everybody? I am here in Conan, and here is Zula Monkey Puzzle, uh, who is progressing away with this. She was unfairly framed on trumped-up charges, exiled uh, due to the manipulations of a jealous rival, jealous of her power. She was an aspiring battle mage in a court in a land far away, and now she is stuck here in the exile lands. Ladybugs, what is up? And she is coming into her own, on her own, without the tutelage and resources she would have had um, in the place that she was forced out of. And our mission is the same as anyone else in Conan. We need to get the bracelets off so we can be free. But in the meantime, we are achieving our full potential and uh, coming into the power that is rightly hers and yeah, uh, we finished this uh, tower, this dark storm glass sorcerer's tower, <laughs> like so many others have made. Ours is a little different. Um, and I think it's cool. It's very tall. And anyway, thank you everybody for joining today, whether you're joining live or later. I appreciate you coming through. What's up, Moist? How are you? Yeah. You having a nice day? Awesome. Me too. So, yeah, I don't have a real plan for today. I thought I'd come on and just mess around and do a few things. Uh, there was a couple additions I wanted to make to the tower real quick. Uh, nothing too fancy. How are you doing, guy? What are you up to? You are not quite finished making the thousands of iron reinforcements I have told you to make. <laughs> He's really slow at that. Um, but I did make a bunch of this steel fire over here so let's pause him on that for a moment let's clear the queue and let's get him turning them into steel one two three four five six three four five six okay we'll still have a little iron left over so let's go ahead and craft three thousand of the uh steel steel reinforcements which is how we're getting our steel because that is his special power um, we do have, I think it's actually all mostly up in the uh, tower, uh, but we can grab some steel reinforcements here. I'm not going to do a ton of building. There's just a couple. we got to kind of move in, you know? we got to kind of move in. And I don't know if you could tell right now in the daytime, but that one brassiere I put at the bottom uh, gave a lot of light. So I'm going to make some more of those. That was the Argosian brassiere. I need a box where uh, this kind of stuff goes. Right, let's go ahead and grab some regular uh, iron reinforcements and um, I think it's shape wood as well. I'm not sure if I got any more shape wood going here. I know I have a lot upstairs. I need to... Um, uh, what do I need to do? I need to get some more going. Got to make it feel homey, as homey as this thing can be, you know? <laughs> What's up, Pliskin? How are you? Still got Beast of Burden on. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, grab some hardened brick, and there should be some more made, too. Um, I got a ton of shape wood, actually. And uh, we'll grab iron bars, we'll grab steel bars. We'll grab a little of everything, just in case we need it. Uh, let's see if these work today. The white wall torch. They were not working previously. Uh, yeah, let's just give me all of it. What does it matter? <laughs> Take that too. He was watching the last vid and then I jumped on. Up. Oh, hate to stall your progress. But yeah, we got it all the way up. But Raleigh jumped on the end. Helped me do some even fancier things. So we got these little pointy stuff on there. We had to work our way through it. So let me just see. So the, these 
These will work here. Little white torches. And then I wanted to uh, throw down uh, another box here. You gonna... You gonna be weird on me today? I just restarted the server not very long ago, so... Oh, these gonna fit in here. That's actually kind of nice. It's a good use for these little bay window things. Oh, double it up. What the heck? We will always need more storage. I haven't tried the cupboards yet. I think they're the next level up. Uh, if we look in here... Decoration storage. I actually don't see them, though. Oh, uh, there's something you gotta make in here, maybe? Uh, cupboard. Cup... Board. Yeah, there is one. We want some wood in here. We can do wood. Um, but let's first, uh, let's take all these carpets and things out so we have a little room in here. We're in danger of these things just, like, sort of, uh, despawning. Uh, we'll leave the lights in... Take out the trophies and things. Oh, this is where I put my chain bindings from last time. Here, this is a little wood. Let's try a cupboard. And it wants some of these. Give it some of those in furniture. Yes, I found it. So I think that's going to be more storage than we have. Tavern counter corner. Cup, let's make a couple more. And then I wanted to make the the Argosian Brazier seems to give a ton of light. Let's make about three of those. Okay, and then maybe just in this top one we'll put all the things that we just took out of there. Fiber bindings can just go away. Okay. I've got these two in here, the heavy helmets, because these guys I decided look better with helmets than without. <laughs> we do have a new person here. Uh, we've got Dina. So we need to make her some armor and also give her a weapon upgrade. Let's see if she's strength or agility. Right now, she has a strength damage bonus. Oh, yeah. A 30 strength, zero agility. She is strength. But for some reason, she's also an archer. Uh, so I guess she needs to have a bow. Um, when I did those... I don't know what they're called. Those feather things last night. Those feather crow humanoid things. Up in the cave. Uh, it was actually two nights ago. I got a bow. A hollow bone bow. And it did, like, the same damage that this one did, 28. But then when I put the increased weapon damage on it, it went up to 34. So I'm going to use that one. And then, uh, so Dina can inherit uh, the Frost Shot I was using. That's a legendary bow. And then we need to give her a better sword. She's got an iron broadsword on, so let's see what she wants. You're good, Pliskin. Trying to do odds and ends around the base. Everything takes forever to gather things. Need to then go gather some more. <laughs> you know, I want to try that um, mass cull uh, spell I've got now, which harvests. The tricky thing with that is I need 20% corruption to do that. And um, I'm not sure exactly how to get 20% corruption. I know you can get half corruption by stealing a soul. Uh, but how do you just get 20%? Do you just do a little bit of spells? And then as soon as I get it, I run by these two. Um, I might need to put them away for a second. Is there a storage thing that's small that I can put there? That's something that's just like a little genie in a bottle kind of thing that's got a little bit of storage, I wonder? Like a ceramic jar. Does that have any storage? Or something that wouldn't look weird sitting there uh, on the thing. I actually have a little bit of odds and ends in the miscellaneous thing. Incense. 
I don't know what that does. Here, let's grab the ones we have already. Use your spell that gives corruption? Is there a spell that gives corruption? I mean, I know they all give a little bit of corruption. But is there one that specifically does that? Could very well be. I am still very much learning. What does the incense do? Let's grab that. We do have one of these ceramic jars here. We have a little jug. Uh, maybe some of these have a teeny bit of storage. Teapot, maybe? We stick them in a teapot? We've got four jailer's keys there. You know, I'm realizing, too, I may not have gotten the inventory of that boss raven thing I did last night. Um, because I think you were supposed to get a skeleton key off of that. I don't think I did. It's the first one we learned in the cave, the one that detects corruption. Or stand near an obelisk. Problem with this location is I don't have um, an obelisk near me easily. What does the incense do? Uh, what just gives a little smoke? Okay, that's cool. <laughs> um, what else? I got, I've got the, let's try the jar. The jar should have storage, right? Uh, okay, maybe not. I'll just be their little stash of whatever. And then, um, maybe the jug. A little water. I run by there all the time, so maybe that there. Yeah, I don't know if any of these have, actually, any storage. Not yet, huh? Well, we're decorating, <laughs> if nothing else. How about this one? Basically, I want to be able to pick them up and stick them in a jar, you know? That does not. Alright, last chance. No, that's all the chances. Be a little tiny thing. Oh, what about the teapot? Where did that go? Did I not pick it up? There it is. Here, put the teapot over here for them. They'll have some tea. Teapot? Teapot has no storage. Okay. No tiny thing with storage. Hmm. I mean, I can just stick them in a nearby chest, I guess. I thought it would be cool if they actually got stored in a, in a, you know, like a genie. In the same place that they actually uh, go. Alright, well, one of these might be storage. If you guys know one that actually is storage, let me know. I'm not going to test them all. And well, this is where you make the hearth. Okay, that is hardened brick and steel. I know I can use the map room to go somewhere moist, but then I can't come back. That's the thing. Hey, Papa H, what is up? Yeah, I know, I can go to an obelisk at will. Uh, what do they want? They wanted steel and... I think two things actually had on me. The hearth. Steel and hardened brick. Yeah, I had those. Okay, so 20 steel. Boop, boop. Still a little shy on steel, so I'm going to be a little careful with it. Just because I've been using it all for building. Okay, so let's make one of those. Those are what we can stick the chimney pieces on, the standstone that we have not been able to use. Um, but yeah, for now, let's see. Let's, let's take all their inventory. boot and pick them up. I have not leveled them at all, so this shouldn't be an issue. Your stuff. And pick you up, please. Okay, so when I get 20%, oop. hey, don't punch that. When I get 20%, I should be able to, um, 
hold on to it. And let's put their armor in here. And let's put extra armors in here as well. Um, then put your closes. Hey. Give me that back. Okay. That's good. Reveal corruption, yeah. Can I craft the bow yet? Uh, not yet. It'll give me 50%. Yeah, I mean, if it, you can only get it at 50%, that's, I guess that's what it is. I would like... What did I come over here? Oh, I can't put the bow away. I would like to, um... Be able to, uh... To get, like, in 10% intervals, so I don't have to go, like... Then cure myself of 30%. Oh, because I, I want to run as little corruption as possible. I'm not really too concerned with, like, the corruption builds and stuff like that. Um, let's look. Press the wrong button. Challenges. Claim this one. I don't think I have one for making a tool right now. I only have this for defeating imps at the moment. Um, I'm just taking a real casual approach through the challenges, by the way, for the battle pass. I only do the ones with multipliers intentionally, and uh, only do them if they're convenient. And so far with that, I've gotten up to level 24. And I've heard we have uh, maybe until October? I'm not sure. Hopefully they will let us know if we're going to run out of time. The only thing I am really keen to get to is uh, level 42. I do have some things I can grab here. But yeah, level 42 is where you get these. That's all I really care about. This is cool, but it doesn't have the storage of the one in the uh, battle pass. Nothing else in here matters that much. That might be a nice color. Purple torch, I mean, of course, purple. Right? Oil lamp. Yeah. Um, that's really it. Uh, that I care about. We should, while we're doing this, we should look in here. If that cabinet comes back in here, I'm probably going to snatch it up. But even though I don't agree that you should have to pay for convenience. But I saw them over at Arcane Scrolls at Knolls. And um, they... Uh, Um, actually, let's grab these in case I need them. They have a ton of storage. They have like 200 slots or something ridiculous. Okay, let's make her her sword before I forget. And she'll probably make her some armor. Cool. Uh, I've made a whole bunch of hardened leather. And so far, I've been giving the named ones, been treating them like officers and giving them the... The epic uh, Yamatai, is it like Yamatai commander or general or something like that? Let's see. And we might take her out with us if we want to level her. Um, I'll put those in there. Getting kind of full in here. All right, so let's make, um, I got actually five of the heavy paddings made. If we're going to give her the same one. Yamatai? It is this one, the Warlord. Uh, maybe just to keep it consistent, we'll do that one. That's pretty strong armor, and it had a lot of health, I think, is um, why I was giving it to them. Besides it looking cool. It's got, yeah, it gives them a bunch of health. So it gives them some survivability. Agreed, Pliskin. So we'll make her that set now, rather than me search for another one. Um, so let's do the Yamatai. And this is with my Thrall. He, um, I think he makes armor that doesn't weigh as much, which is not very useful uh, for this, but um, for uh, for recruits. But whatever. Oop. Oop. So they're getting epic armor, man. Well, at least the name ones are. 
the named ones are. The unnamed ones have been getting the um, the veneer heavy because it's as far as I could tell from that chart we have, it was the normal heavy armor, the non-epic heavy armor that gave the most armor. It didn't have bonuses like health and stuff, but it does give more armor and it does look cool. Yeah, so we're making that. And then also, since we're making a queue here, why don't we just go ahead and uh, get some more of these crafting. Craft 20 of them, what the hell? Okay, gotta use up some of the mats we've got. Okay, so then let's make her a weapon. She was rocking a broadsword. Which, apparently, you can't make. He agreed that it's uh, not cool to have to buy m for more storage. But we'll also buy it when it comes around. <laughs> I know, man. It's uh, it's a little, it feels a little dirty, doesn't it? it feels a little dirty. Alright, uh, let's see. Let's see what we got. What's the best we can do here? Like... Maybe something out of dragon bone? Speaking of, we gotta go get another dragon horn. So, the two-handed sword does 57. Uh, we might give her that. That seems to be the best. I don't know if I have any other epic stuff to give away. I've been giving all my epic strength stuff to my dudes. I don't think any of these are... That's 36, that's 29. I think they've got them all. I just have Splinter, which is a uh, cursed one. In fact, <laughs> Splinter goes in here. Bye bye, legendary bow. That the, the arrows always break. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, let's maybe make her the dragon bone one, or I think it beats the the best next one down would be star metal, right? Uh, star metal great sword does fifty six, and the dragon bone. If we want to give her a two handed thing, be kind of slow. Although it's going to use the dragon horn. Which we're actually one short of for our next spell. So we're gonna need to get that anyway. We can we can spend on that. I don't know if we should. Um, that's the biggest damage. It's probably slow. That's for a normal sword is does 46 damage, so that does quite a bit more damage. Yes, it does. That does 51 with the maul. Let's try that. Let's go grab a dragon bone. And we're going to have to go farm some dragons, by the way. Anybody want to kill more dragons for me? I need I need one more of these horns. Now I need two more. <laughs> uh, so, where did that go? There it is. All right, clear your queue. Make me a sword for Dina. Take care of them well, man. If they decide to join me, they get the best. Best I can do. And then... I'm gonna keep making those afterwards. Your game? Don't need anything, but you like to hunt? Cool. What's up, Daryl? Yeah, I want to get the... Um horns and I also need some more of the knowledge fragments well need want <laughs> oh there's a mod with glass I could be keen on that I really wanted some glass regular glass interesting just keeping an eye on our discord we have a room where people can put up their mod suggestions all right, did you make it? Oh, you're slow. All right, let's make sure we've got the weapon thing for it. We do. And uh, how about the armor? Is that ready? Boop, 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 and boop. Okay, we got our armor. 
that's taking forever. I just don't want to forget. Um, here, let's... Let's uh, transmog her helmet. We're all... Got the gold hoop earrings. Yeah, so I want to make a room for these two things. Instead of having them down here in the lobby. Doesn't... Doesn't feel like they're as important as they should be in the lobby. Yeah, that's an ugly... Ugly helmet. So we're gonna just make it some gold hoops. Ooh, and that gets the RGB going. We should probably take Krom out for the dragon. Because he's the most leveled up. So far, he's at 14. He's such a pud, though. Alright, so we're going to take that away from her. Oop. Oop. Got to take this off first. Give her not the twine. Oop. Uh, doop, doop, doop. All right, she's looking pretty sharp. You can identify her as an officer. I was gonna save this one for the bearers, just so we always. I want to be able to recognize my peeps by their armor for the different classes or roles they serve for me. Come on! You can do it! If I go build or something like that, I'll forget to give this to her. Um, I just want to do a couple quick building things while I have all this junk on me. So, hurry up. <laughs> So, probably should do lighter leveling with her before we take her to see the dragon. Almost. Almost. Come on. There it is. Okay. So we're going to put this on it. Now it is up to 67 damage. And it does cripple. And it's a strength weapon. She's supposed to be a strength gal. So maybe when we take her out, she should actually do... Um, we should make her not use her bow. Because, I don't know. Do archers get some sort of bonus for that? Because she's all strength. Or is that just... Do they just get random rolls? Because she's got no agility bonus, so I'm not sure why she's an archer. We can change her behavior. And not have her use her bow. I'll leave her alone for the moment, but we should, um... Change her name. Well... Or at least just put my tag on it. Boop, boop. everybody else. We've got to do that to everybody, actually. Boop. At least do that so I can track them. MP Crom. MP Annika. MP Nordheimer Fighter 3. Have not done anything with these guys. They were just here for the purge. And then, uh... No, MP. Oops. MP Claw. This is Claw 1 of Jebel Sog. <laughs> and this one will be Claw 2. Got the twinsies. Jebel Sog. Okay. Um, good enough for now. There's probably more guys over there I need to tend to, but we got Dina outfitted now. She's 
doing better than some players on the server. Um, let's do a quick experiment before I forget. Oh, also, we got to remember to get more of the tributes for this. So that we can level it. Might as well go ahead and take one of these now. Um, and eat some food, get our health up. And let's see, let's get this out and see how much corruption each of these spells really give. So, this one that Pliskin was saying, I think it's... Oh, yeah. Is it over here? The reveal corruption? The best to get you. That didn't give me any. Okay. Actually, let's, uh, let's escape out of there for a second. How about, let's make an ice bridge. And that was... Let's do it. Gusts of air. Ooh, that doesn't quite make it, does it? <laughs> All right, neither one of those gave me any corruption. What's up with that? I thought they give you some. I used to get some corruption from them. I'm not in admin mode or anything. So, it says remove, but I I'm, I'm, was not in admin mode. You can tell by this, there's no admin thing. No. Um. Hmm. I know when I do a thing, like a, I steal a soul, that it uh, definitely gives me half. You're bugged out again, buddy. There you go. I remember doing those spells and getting corruption before. Is it because we're more advanced now? What else could we do? Uh, I don't think Featherfall gives much. Let's see, let's, uh, fall from up here. <laughs> it's the only trampoline we got. See if that gives us any corruption. I mean, we could steal a soul if we have to. We can go to an obelisk, but then we gotta run back. I'd rather be able to figure out how to get the corruption here. If I can. Okay, and one of the places I actually was going to build out was here, so let's just go ahead and take that out. And let's try... Let's see if Featherfall gives us anything. So this... You have to have that, right? Okay, here we go. <laughs> that gave me zero corruption. Don't aren't those all supposed to give you a little bit? Oh I got light corruption for four thirty eight. But it's not adding up. I'm gonna restart. Maybe. Maybe the having used admin once made it not work, even though I took it away. We might get some fatal errors coming back in. Conan takes a long time to uh, stop running, even after it's not running. 
because it said I was getting light corruption, but it wasn't stacking at all. Someone pointed out in my last video that I wasn't taking any thirst. So maybe sometimes going into admin and then coming out. I had used it just to change the weather for my thumbnail. And then I took it off. What's up, Bayman? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. We're just messing around. Short little Monday bonus. See if we get the fatal errors. Crossing my fingers. Hey, that's looking good, pretty good when it gets that far. Hey, we made it straight in. Okay, uh, let's try again. You working hard? Awesome. Real life or game game working? All right, what else we got? What else we got? Um, what was, just for experiment. Let's try this again. Achni yashut. Achni yashut. Okay, it was. I did need to restart. I am taking light corruption now. Very light though. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, didn't mean to do that, but we can we're good. We're going. I need to finish putting in uh, more little fences along the way. Real life, awesome. Hopefully you're getting appropriately rewarded for it. I should have jumped right away, but uh hopefully the spell holds out. <laughs> By the time we get up here. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> All right, but it's not continuing to give corruption. All right, let's see. Again, how much that reveal corruption gave us. Like we need to get up to 20%. This dude, yep, yo. Yeah, I don't see it stacking. Not much, but we do have a little bit. A little bit. I got nine more of these little pouches. I don't know what I need these big ones for. Probably for the next level spells. <laughs> All right, doesn't seem to be continuing to go up, though. Go flying. <laughs> you know, I actually haven't done that one either. I don't think I can. No. Because I need to get the 20% to do that. See, so, yeah. I have to be 20% corrupted. So I need to figure out how to get 20% corrupted so I can go flying. Because I can't do half these spells. Because I'm not corrupted enough. And I don't want to just have to do a sacrifice every time. Linda. It's a little rough. Yeah, that one's not going to do much. The little light thing. Oh, that did some. Still nowhere near 20%. Does summoning give more? I don't know. Uh, we summoned one of these demons the other day. He was alright. He bugged out and stopped attacking. If I do this, I'll have to go get some more blood if I die. I have not tried one of these yet. Spawn to bow? What? What does spawn to bow mean? Shag. 
does this do? This is, uh... Conceal the physical effects of corruption. That's not very exciting. Spawn Zubbo? I can't. I don't think I have it yet to spawn. And if I did, it's gonna be another one of these that's, uh... Behind other things. Yeah, that's just the light. So yeah, I can't do a whole lot to get to 20%. Hmm. That's a little annoying. I mean, I guess we could try to spawn somebody. I haven't done these, a um, horse or a rhino. I want some bones. I guess we'll use our blood up. Real corruption is still going, but it doesn't seem to be stacking any more corruption. I mainly want to see how well that uh, cull resources does. Bogus 50%. Yeah, is there any that give 10 or 20? Because then I gotta go stand by a dancer and modulate it, and it's just, uh, I don't want to go out with 50%. If I have to do 20%, we'll do 20%. But, uh, I don't want to have to go whole hog and do 50, and I don't want to have to, like, kind of jump next to a dancer and jump away kind of thing. Let's check out this, uh, this horse. Haven't done that yet. It has half your health and half your stamina. Ooh, you're a crazy looking horse. You don't have a ton of health. You don't got nothing. But you level up super fast, right? That gave me some corruption. Oh, and this isn't going to do me any good because I'm running overweight. <laughs> right. Uh, let's put you to the side. Can I place you? I can. Put you right there. You're crazy looking. That did give me a, a chunk. A chunk of corruption. I don't think that's 20% yet. Let's see. Let's see if we can escalate to anything. Nope. I'd have to do it at least again, if not more. It looks, um... It looks like more on this one than it does on the HUD right here. I am taking light corruption for three minutes. So let's see if that adds up. Uh, in the meantime... Let's... come up here. So as you come up the stairs... right here is the... Um, the uh, first level you get to that has a floor and it's it's a fairly big level so i was thinking we could make this uh where we do our sorcery like like either right here or right to the side and i was thinking behind it uh which would be right here we can make a room um with a little privacy where we do our dirty deeds right so Let's see, we can either put a door here, or we can just change it to, like, a wall. Uh, maybe we'll just change this to a wall. Get a little privacy. Uh, I gotta be careful, I don't want to, um... Lose, lose stability up there. <laughs> it's like a... Uh, let's see, but I wanted to take out the one 
Was I just placed wrong? I'm a little scared, though. A little scared. Okay, let's go. Let's go back to this. Make it go this way. Did it not? Oh, I don't have it. I got that. Okay. There we go. I can take that out. And then we'll grab a regular wall, which that one was not meant to be a regular wall. These are all facing out, yeah. Okay. And then... Oh, I'm in the wrong one. Okay, it was actually here. Okay. Duh. Excuse me. I'll get it right. Okay, put you facing inward this time. And then uh, maybe we'll get a little privacy here too. <laughs> this is building, not shenanigans. You want a refund? Granted. But I'm not done yet either. Shenanigans will happen. And this is uh, my place to do dirty deeds, which I'm going to need to do more of. And I just used up the last of my sacrificial blood. We do we do spin it a little bit. Make it a little less evil. It's still in the category of dark things that she knows she has to do. This is actually the first building we've done too today. But yeah, we're making a little room here. And there's lots of spaces in this tower that could be carved out like this. Boop. So, um... The door either here or here. Probably here. Boom. And... Boop. Can do it. Yes, dirty deeds done dirt cheap. You got my reference. And you ACDC fans. And then, uh, can we... How did I do this wrong? I think I did it wrong. I did. Of course I did. Boop, 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 boop. It's gotta come all the way to here. I guess these up here could be glass. Okay, and then... Can we open this up a little bit? Um, this needs to become private. So maybe we'll go like that. And then all these need doors. Boop. We could just wall this off. Do it right here. That's probably fine. Oh, and there's actually some fancier walls I was thinking of using with the, um... 
Mediterranean. Maybe we'll do that. For a little feature wall. What do they look like on the outside? Nothing too special. And this is where the altar is going to go. So we can make that one the different one. We could open it up. I just worry a little bit because uh, this is a, a stability thing. Well, actually, this one is. So this one might be fine. We've already got... It um, will make it look different from down below. But we could um, transfer this stability over. Put this here. And then we'd have to make sure that, um, what? Are you, that this stability gets transferred over here. that so it goes up transfers over here stability goes up comes back over I'm pretty sure It'd be totally safe uh, we need some wood it doesn't have vertical marble ones oh uh, that's probably fine <laughs> We'll risk it. Hopefully I didn't lose anything upstairs. What DLC is that from? The stability thing? That is from... The stability thing is from a mod. That is, um... It's the, uh... Pythagoras Extended Building. hide the lattice. We're probably going to get rid of the lattice. We figured out how to do that recently. And then how about we close this in. I don't know if the terrain exactly matches, but it, the colors are about right. Um... So I was planning on using it like this for like feature things, feature walls. And then I guess this would need a door. Well, you can't really see what's going on here. And this is blocked off. So that's probably fine. That looks like a decent little room. It could use some more decoration and stuff. But now we can go ahead and go get uh, this thing. Oh yeah, we need these here too. We need... Um, Not there, but uh, here. <laughs> Safety first. All right, yeah, let's go get our things then. And take that 
And then uh, let's just take everything in here. And you. Okay, let's take those upstairs. I don't think I grabbed these other ones. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, and so here is where the thaumaturgy bench is going to go. So maybe we'll do the same thing here, but maybe not necessarily make it as private. Um, but here is where um, this is going to go. This sh should be done privately. Do it that way or do it sideways. Probably that way. Yeah. And lights the room up itself. And then uh, we come out from the stairs again right here. Opposite that. Yeah, we'll do a little expansion again, so let's get that um, stability again. Make sure we transfer stability over to here. And it's already happening up there. And then we're going to grab the Terranian pieces. Oop. Yeah. This one can maybe be a window. Um, we'll leave the fence just for continuity outside. Put this on top again. Maybe this one's smaller. Maybe we just expand out to here. So we'll give this one maybe just all windows. Boop. Boop. Go like that. Cover the grid up. Alright, we should hopefully be safe taking this out. And then we can put our thaumaturgy bench here. That's basically what I wanted to do with the tower today. It's just that kind of stuff. So, Zaris, you can go back in there. Get all my other sorcerers down here. Let's give you all the things. Yeah, we're in there. I think that was in there. And I'm not sure what else it needed. Maybe the demon blood. Now our next spell, yeah, it needs the 20 dragon horns. And we got three spell pages here. Okay. And let's put these flasks in here. It's kind of try to fit in the things it's made for versus uh, just having um, things thrown willy-nilly like they don't really belong in here, right? And then, do we need a special floor in here? I, I don't know which one that would be. We could try the Terranian again. It's okay. This one. Is this... I think these are ceilings, right? Yeah, these are ceilings. So that would be the Turanian ceiling. Which is this one. 
Oops. Oh crap. Can I have it? Uh, apparently not. Can I grab it from below? Right over here somewhere, right? There it is. Boom. Okay, let's try that again. It's a little offset, isn't it? I guess they all are. Okay, damn, I did it again. Too many snap points. There we go. That replaced that one. Looks a little fancier, right? Something's going on here. It's not totally dark, but she's not all about dark magic. And we're going to need to decorate it. Enough knickknacks and paraphernalia in there. I think it's okay. We'll see if that makes it too disturbing from down below. And then the other thing I wanted to do was uh, make more places for these lights, right? You can see this light makes it to about here. Let's uh, let's go look outside. See if it's dark enough to tell. It's a rain we might. But those simple braziers kind of light up the whole thing. So I wanted to make a couple more places for them going up. Yeah, it lights it up to that first, all the way up to that first um, balcony. So we could probably put another one on the second balcony and light everything up. Oh God, we got a bot. Somebody kill it. Somebody hide the user, please. So I was wondering if there's a way to suspend them in the middle. That looks cool. See, it's these. Eventually, I might want to put something there, so I might lift this up. But we'll see right now if this sends as much light down as it sends up. Right, so... This is the next landing up. Um... And I'd like to suspend it right in the middle, although that's going to, like, also affect our ability to jump, isn't it? <laughs> the feather fall down, if we have these all the way down. But that would make sense as far as the continuity of lighting. It's having them right in the center. Where is the... the base? The base is... Over here. There it is. I mean, so we could... Maybe just put it here? I don't know how that would work out. Probably lights all the way across. And let's go up and have it put another one. Now, if we put it here, we won't be able to get all the way across. Like I said, I was going to build some structure to support them in the middle, but um, yeah, it affects our ability fly down. I mean, I could put a triangle right there and put them, like, there. It's a little weird, though. And then up here... I was gonna build out. Maybe we can build out here and put one in the center. I was thinking of using those Terranian floors again. Uh, let's see. Let's go... And then this will this will be all the building we do for the day. Just wanted to get this set up. Mm. 
Is that how this would go? No. This would be... Just straight to square. And this could be kind of a room, right? A usable room. I think the stairs might be interfering. Let's have them all face outward. Does that let me go up and down? I might be a little close, actually. Oh, we want storm glass stairs. We can kind of make it around that, but that doesn't really work. Okay, well, let's make the circle. And then we'll figure out what we're doing. Uh, this is going to have stability issues. So again, we'll have to give it the thing. Uh, let's see. Let's... You know what we can do? We can switch the order of things. I'm even doing this right. Is this just... This might actually just be center right here. I think it is. Which one is it? We have an extra one somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, so we put that in the center there, and then we'll just do it normal again. I guess outward here. Don't know if we can come up that. Probably not. Then we don't need this anymore. We kind of get a room out of this this way. Um, these are support, so I can't really take them out. But we can um, get this right in the center here. Get more light. And we'll see. I don't like that one off center. But maybe we won't be using it anyway. Now let's do Feather Fall again, just because it's fun and because we're trying to build up our corruption. You can kind of avoid things as you fall. <laughs> can we see light on the whole thing yet? It might all be lit up now. That might work. Let's see how that goes. But if you can light it all up with just like three light sources... That's pretty good. I do have the arcane braziers out in the corner of the um, buttresses. And up on the top, too. I'm not sure how much that does. This almost looks like 20% here. It doesn't appear. Hey, crazy bomb. Nope, we're not. Alright, well, 
let's go get some uh, dragon bone. And then on the way back, we can try to get 20% by standing by an obelisk. So yeah, maybe it's time for some dragon hunting. Uh, let's just cure my corruption for now. Let's get, uh... Luba. Let's just Luba back out. And she'll cure my corruption. She's very good at that. We'll put her away in case I come back corrupted and want to keep it. Because I got to try out those other spells. But yeah, that corruption thing is a little bit um, limiting. Oh, and my horsey despawned. Okay. Alright, let's put all these mats in here. If I need them, they'll be up here. Uh, blood actually should go up above. Oh, we were going to test these out. I'll just put them in here for now. Oop. All the mats. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that should go upstairs, but we'll just put it there for now. Oh, let's go ahead and put it where it goes. Cleansing Brew can help you manage corruption level. Well, what I want is the ability to increase it uh, at intervals. I mean, I guess if it just takes off a certain amount, that's cool. But I'm looking for a way to just get up to 20%. without having to go 50%. But everything so far seems to be too incremental. There's a brew for that as well. Oh. Let's see if we have it. Got to let go of the brazier. Oh yeah, we got these cupboards. Let's see how big a cupboard is. So cupboard has well just showing it's got six by five. This stuff showing has six by five, but I guess it's about how many show up once um, once you've filled it. We'll figure that out later. So let's put that up in here right now. But I'm pretty sure they're better than the uh, chests. Okay. Um, what was I doing? Oh, corruption brews. Some of those would be in here. This is also the improved alchemist bench. Is there... I think there's a better alchemist bench, isn't there? Cupboards get 45 spots. Awesome. Crafting alchemy. Oh yeah, look at this. We got the precision alchemist bowl, the precision... Precision alchemist bench, precision fire bowl. Trade. So uh, I'm assuming the pre precision would be the ones to um, uh, use less mats, right? It doesn't say here, but I assume so. 
Oh, we need those mats I just dumped. <laughs> okay. Uh, the insulated wood is here, but we need the brick, the reinforcement, and some glass. So, uh, we've got the insulated wood. Glass is over here. All right, let's go get our brick and steel. Cube showed off a really nice thing where he buried a bunch of cupboards in a foundation spot and they fit just right. Oh, that's there, that's there. I should have a bunch more hardened brick down here. And I do. Check it out. Uh, alchemy, precision. Woo, that's big. Might be able to fit it in there. Let's see, so looking in here, what do we got? Uh, we got. Black Lotus Potion. They don't say what they do. It could be Black Lotus. Gray Lotus. Potion. Purple Lotus. Potion of Natural Learning. Precision is 50% cost reduction. Trade is 150% speed. Awesome. Yeah, I'd definitely go for the cost reduction. Stove. Stove for brews. Oh, okay. Well, we need to upgrade our stove, too. Let's see. Um, we might not need to, but uh, let's go ahead and throw that down, too. Uh, maybe, actually, maybe that's it. This is the improved stone. I don't see a um, higher level for the stove than what I've got. So maybe I'm good. All right. What do we got for brews? We've got the cleansing brew and the corrupting brew. Awesome. So we need some purified water, demon blood, and yellow lotus. Okay. So let me see. I think I just had these fill i do come here boop 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 i think the lotus potions are equivalent to the one with logos but not sure all right let's just for for now let's just make one of these and then uh, should have some demon blood and some yellow lotus. I've been throwing out all the yellow lotus, honestly. I get so much of it around here. Okay. Uh, oh, go. Okay, and then we want the corrupting brew. F1. Go! <laughs> and then the cleansing brew. What does it take? Herbal tea. Okay. Let's make an herbal tea. Okay, and this guy. How much are you going to give me? Boom, boom, boom. I don't see any. Oh, it's a teeny bit. Holy crap. Teeny, teeny, teeny bit. It's like 1% or something. All right, let's make a bunch. Let's craft 19. And 
then go. <laughs> I always forget that in the stove. And then after that, uh, let's make all the purified water after that. Maybe they give 1%. I mean, if they're only using one demon blood and one yellow lotus, I guess that's reasonable. If they allow you to drink 20 of them and get exactly 20%, that would be about right. And let's queue up some herbal tea. Should make me 20 of those. Okay, should make me 40 of those. Okay, um... Oh, we messed it up. All right. Stop. Give me 18 more of those. Oh, yeah, so we'll, we'll have drank uh, 19 or 20 when we drink all these. And we'll see if that gives us... 20% corruption. Okay, that's half of them. And in the meantime, uh, let's get all the waters going. Go. Drink the other half. It's looking maybe about right. I wish there was an exact way to know. I guess we could tell if I remember what our total health was supposed to be. That could be it. Let's try. Let's see, so, um... So. Can we go up to 20%? Yeah. Oh, we can. Nice. Alright, let's do the bat. <laughs> in army. what the controls are for going up and down oh they dropped me that was not very long at all that was not very long at all what use is that that was like 10 seconds of bat what let's do it again now, the problem is, each time we do this, we're going to go up a certain amount. But it looked like, um... Oh. 300 was the right number for health for us yeah. to get right now. A ghost in Ari. He's gonna drop us. Let's go to the lake. How far can we get? I'm not hitting shift. He's going down. And he's gone. So that's pretty limited. You can get across a crevice, a crevasse that, that big. 
It might be good for like that northern passage place. But yeah, kind of limited, huh? I guess that's a PvP thing. Alright, what else can we do? That we don't I haven't seen yet. So let's do them one at a time, starting on the left. Oh, yeah. Alright, this one does not have that. Oh, we can do the uh, the cull. Where's the cull? Uh, let's go over to here where all these these things are. There's a metal deposit over here. And we'll see how worth it that is. We'll leave the body too to see if it harvests that. So there's a small metal deposit. Um, okay. Which one would you be under? I know we have it. Kalinga. What's this? Escalate. Oh man. All right, we're at forty percent though. What's this? Fog. No, I don't want that. All right. I wish we could go back more easily. So we tried green. We tried the demons. That's the bat. Let's do the forces of nature and reality. Escalate. Summon molten magma from the planet's core, causing it to erupt from the ground. Wow. Pure darkness and terror. Okay, here it is. Uses a cloth pouch. This is it. Oh, I don't have a cloth pouch. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go get one. Let's make a bunch of herbal tea, and then some of it we can turn into the cleansing brew. So herbal tea. I don't have a bunch of those on me anyway. I want to save some water. Uh, let's do. Let's do sixty. Oops, that's not sixty. That's sixty. And then after we do that. Cleansing brew. We need more yellow lotus. Okay, finally, and something else to do with yellow lotus. All right, let's make forty of these. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then we needed cloth bags. Which I don't think I have any of. How much do you cost in here? You are... Two leather, one demon blood, one gold, two gold dust, two bone meal. And in here... A cloth pouch. Looks like it's just one of everything. I don't know if there's any mundane stuff I need to keep this one for. Let's go ahead and move it to the side for the moment. Here, why don't you go out here? Because sometimes there's things you can't make in the improved version. You will let me put you in there, but I don't know if you look right. One of the things gets hidden in the column. I'm pretty okay with that. As long as it's not half hidden. 
Yeah, we live with that. Let's put him back in. And we'll put all this stuff back. Uh, what else belongs in here? You. You, you, you. Bone meal. All right, cloth pouch. Leather and gold dust. We can do that. We can definitely do that. Leather. We've got the dust. I'm just going to... Um, I try to keep these amounts even in here. Uh, let's take that and... Make some more of that. How much do we get for one? You get ten. I think you get a thousand each, but anyway. We'll just... We'll be a little ahead on our gold dust. <laughs> Alright, that and the leather. And the leather pouch, the cloth pouch. Yeah, so it's cheaper in here, which is good. All right, and we'll go see. And we'll take uh, four of them. We'll go see how good that is for resources. And just running around here, I don't care too much about a little corruption. There's nothing too scary around here. But let's see what the range of this is. There's some rock up here. This little metal deposits right here. Some rock over there. And the time it takes to do this spell, we'll see if it's worth it. Okay, so we got one up. And there's still... Oh no, there wasn't one beyond that. Okay. Nothing it went pretty far. It got these ones up here. And it did not get the boar. That was pretty good. Alright, there's another little... It's a very small metal deposit and some rocks over here. We've got a rock there and a rock there. Let's see how far it gets. Stand about here. Shoot. Yeah, I got all the way over there. Okay, I'd say that's worth it for the time. It's a lot more fun <laughs> than the pickaxe. Um, we got uh, 1,010 ironstone out of that. 1,300 stone. Seems like it's just for minerals. I don't know if there's any danger of doing it near uh, Bison's place. <laughs> All his walls get harvested. I don't think that's going to happen. Here, let's stand here and see if we can get all these rocks. It's a little faster once you memorize the placements of things. Not for Pretty good. She's probably not looking very good. Yeah, she's looking uh, quite corrupted there. <laughs> she's not looking so good. Let's do one more load of rocks over... This island actually has a lot of rocks. 
Well, there's a pretty good cluster of them over here. This actually pretty be pretty good for getting range, because you can see they go all the way that way, and all the way that way. So let's look off that way as we do it, and see what our range is. This is a pretty handy spell, I gotta say. <laughs> I had an experiment going, guys. I don't think they interrupted it. So it seems like it went it went this far. Didn't get those though. I wonder if it's line of sight. Like I have to be able to see him. And it didn't cross the water. But yeah, it's okay. I mean, usually when I go out harvesting, I fill more of my inventory than you can see with rocks and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm out of cloth bags now, right? Yeah, I am. All right, well, we can do that. We can do that. Oh, and while I'm all corrupted, I think there was one more spell I didn't check out, but... um We'll probably need a cloth pouch. And then we're going to go fight dragons right now and advance our sorcery a little bit more. So... Cloth pouch. Okay, we'll go, we'll go wholesale now. <laughs> Craft it. Oh, we got some in here too. Well, we're clearly going to be using a lot of those, so... Yeah. Why did I only get that? Oh, and it gets, uh, it gets seeds too. Weird. Okay. Okay. Well, let's feed that stone to our rock noses and that will turn it into more iron. Um, and why don't we get a little brick making? these out of here. Let that become brick. Put that in there too. Keep this the uh, hardened brick side. Mm -hmm. and it's a good reminder now to grab a torch. So we may need that out in the world. That one is full. Let's dump off all these seeds we got. It doesn't seem like it did trees, did it? I don't know. Um said just mineral. Okay, I feel like I always have to stand somewhere high to do this. <laughs> Alright, ladybugs, I'm sorry you're not feeling well. I hope you feel better soon. Alright, so we checked those out. Uh, we didn't do the magma one. Yeah. Okay, this is the uh, invisibility spell. And that's the mirror spell. Okay. So we can do invisibility and mirror if we need to, if we have 20% corruption. So it seems like if you want to be able to do this at any point, you got to carry 20 brews with you. Um, just in case. So maybe have those on your follower or something like that. 
But you can at least, yeah, you can do it 1% of the time. So thanks you, Momo. That was a, a clutch suggestion. And then, did we do everything else? We should check out that magma. Is that maybe the wall of fire? I think we did all, all the demon ones, right? That only escalates. Yeah, and that's only the bat. That one was really overdone, I think, in uh, its coolness and the hype around it, because it doesn't go very far. Linda. Yeah, that's the light, and then the escalate for the light is escalates again. And that is the undead fog, right? Which I will never ever use. All right, I'm gonna step outside to do the magma though. But uh, let me just make sure I got Flagger. all of them. Okay, and that one doesn't escalate. Okay, let's do the, the magma. I think that's the wall of fire. Got any boars anywhere? We could do it for the bear. The cubs might go in it though. There's usually a couple boars over here. Yeah. Let's see if we can do it in time. Which one was it? It was wrong. <laughs> Horses. Escalate. Um, there it is. I think they interrupted it. They did. Jerks, I'm trying to do a spell on you. What's up, Luke? Can we do it from up here? Point down there. And I've gone way beyond 50% corruption here. <laughs> so it can go beyond that. Um, yes. yes, that is that one. Alright, come here, guys. I'm assuming it hurts me. It's no good if they path around it. This doesn't seem a whole lot of good. Yeah, I'm, I'm not burning these guys up. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> How much damage do they have? Mere... Fractions of damage. All right, this looks useless. Unless you just wanted to block something off, like physically block it. I don't have a lot of health, so I gotta be careful. What's going on with you today, Wook? Let's go get Luba out. Get our healing on. That's good. I learned a lot. Learned a lot. She's in the box. Poor Luba. And the minute I put him down, her down, I go up to 50%. Okay, let's put our mats away. 
Not a whole lot, really. You like those br braziers? I'm working really hard on saying braziers and not braziers. <laughs> Very different meaning, I know. So oh, I don't need these anymore. All oh, these were. My dancers were wearing those, but I would still do better for them. Um, I think that's about it. Just gotta put away the meats. And let's eat a piece. Let's uh, fill up our water bag. Drink and fill. Is there a better thing than the water skin as you go up? I haven't seen it. Water. Uh, something like a canteen or something. You know the five small dragons and two big dragons at the spawning pools? Yeah, that should be good enough. I don't see any other advanced water skin in here. I think fires on the outside would add or take away from the look. It depends. Um, bonfires might look a little crude. Bonfires on the top might be all right. Not sure. Mm. And what else should I get rid of? These are heavy. I think we're good. Do we have any more elixirs of sight? I do. Let's take a couple more of those. Mm, we've got three. Aloe, let's take one more. And I think we're good for the road. All right, probably don't need to bring all these with. Or right, let's take it down to, uh, we'll bring two of them maybe, right? Okay. We'll do the same with the leather. And with the burlap. Not that I'm worried about weight, but I'm trying to get myself in training for, I do want to take off Beast of Burden at some point and become a slightly better fighter. Put these uh, 10 right here in strength and get these two perks for damage. Because I'm dealing a lot of damage right now and I could deal a bit more. You can find bigger water skins in two places on the map. In the meantime, you can carry purified water from the stove because it stacks. Oh. Good, huh? How much does it weigh? Not much. Okay. This holds 10, I believe. Yeah. Um, if we had 10 purified water, that's still heavier. Oh no, that's less heavy than the water skin. That's 1.1, that's 1.0. Could just make a second water skin too. Although the purified water it's kind of useful, huh? Because it tells you... You can see at a glance how much you have left. Versus this, you have to look at the durability. Artisan table? There's a trough and a well. And a large well. 
underwater. This is what we got from the... What's his face? Last time. The uh, Archivist. It takes a whole fragment of power to make it. I wonder what's the point of that. Does it do anything? I don't know. That's expensive though. Fragment of power? The drinking horn. It's decorative. Do -do -do. Could be putting this floor paint under our altars and stuff, I guess. That looks pretty good. Um, I mean, I might have scrolled past it. There's so much crap in here. It's really hard to know. This is one of the reasons I haven't had like content mods yet, besides the server struggling sometimes. Is there's no way I could learn what's in here already and add more stuff on top of it, you know? <laughs> so much. So much. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um but uh let's make one of these. I think everybody knows this is my place, but I am gonna add to this to the rules as soon as I remember to do it and uh, so we might as well uh, do it ourselves is that the only sign there is is there a smaller one oh there's a wall sign yes uh, let's get some branches Ooh, wrong one Sign. Let's craft ten of those. Exactly. No more an anonymity. I'm gonna see structures out there, and I'm gonna be like, "Whose structure is this? Why is it here?" And I won't be able to do anything about it because I won't know who. <laughs> well, I could just tear it down, but I try not to be too harsh like that. Uh, let's see. I could put that there. That's pretty subtle. These ones are less subtle. I doubt anyone doesn't know this is my place, but, uh, just in case. I wonder, hopefully this won't kill the, uh, tree spawn. Might. This will be an experiment, actually. Zool, the monkey puzzle. Oh, domain. <laughs> Let's put the name. Zool, the monkey puzzle. It kind of shows up. And then let's do it as an experiment. Cut down the trees right here and see if they come back. If you want to know whose base it is, you go looking for the bed. Oh, do the beds have unique identifiers? I guess they do, huh? Make the shape of a bum out of something. As your sign, it would be subtle. <laughs> okay. I will do that then. Alright, but now I'm obeying the rules. If I put it up here, let's just see how useful this would be. Can I even get to it? Oh, I can't. With a monkey puzzle. Yeah. 
it's really small. But it, the letters are darker against the background. Okay. Anyway, uh, these small ones would be good for chests and stuff, although I have mine pretty much memorized. Can I come in? All right, let's go out and cause some trouble. Here, let's put some wood in here. Uh, I guess I only grabbed one sign. And then other than that... I mean, at some point I should shed some weapons. Uh, I think we're good. Uh, we want to... Let's see, let's put this here. Let's... We want to be using Durketto's Kiss today on people, because we want to level up the Durketto thing. Don't need these. Um... I'm not going out very light. I'm at 48%. These are heavy. I technically don't need to carry that many because they last a good while. But uh, right now it doesn't matter. And... We're good. Um, let's put a shield down here. Yeah, that's in case we need to go one-handed. Keep our short sword. So, let's put the daggers up front. Okay. Fun fact, you get your username from the other kind of bum, as in the one begging for change. <laughs> yeah, at first when... Uh, Bum first joined us, we wondered if his name was inappropriate. Like, it sounds like you might be measuring somebody's bum. But it's, uh... Yeah, it's... It's it's more of a, um... Emperor Norton kind of thing. And he's the ruler of... Of the hobos. All right, who's coming with me? If we're gonna go fight dragons, I should bring Krom. So you come with me. And I don't really have a leveled up pet to take as well. I mean, we could bring some as a spare. One of the things I don't want to abuse is I've made it so you can kind of build anywhere and there's just places you could probably put down like 10 bears that you shouldn't be able to. But that would be kind of a cheese strategy. It's like put down 10 level 1 bears somewhere. Um, but I think it'll just be me and Krom. Krom and I. Uh, he at least can take some aggro. Let's put some steak on him. He's got 5 levels to go. Let's make sure they go to the right place. Put a lot of steak on him. He kind of really chums. Noms through them. When he heals. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, I'm going to take a quick potty break, guys, and then we're going to go off and uh, see if we can kill a dragon. Hi. Let's see. I will be right back.
All right, I am back. Just keeping up with the Discord. Okay. We all good? I gotta take that off. Get out of V. All right, Crom. Let's make the jog up to the map table. Oh, and I actually wanted to bring the tea with me, the herbal tea for stamina. Oh, and I need to activate this again, activate this again. When I logged out, I lost those. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm trying to get uh, horns and frags, though. Did I not make the T? I didn't press this. Uh. <laughs> so weird to have to press play. I'm good on Dragon Bone. And I'm probably good on... Uh, Legendary toolkits? Well, I have two. I think I'm fine. Okay, I'll take 20. Keep them down here. Oh, oh I guess we'll put them here. So when I find my in a pinch for Stam, I'll jam one of those. I miss my 100% grit, man. I do. Also, was great for survivability because I could only take 25% uh, of my damage at a time. My maximum health. That was really awesome. Nothing could one hit you. So here, all the way up top, we have our map table. And it's actually reasonably aligned with the rest of the map, I think. So the nameless city is here. Let's go. No going back. At least not easily. All right. Bearings, there is map table dragons. Should be this way. Will be as meaningless as your life. Alright, I'm not gonna Shouldn't bother with this little junk, right? A couple iron bars and stuff is not worth it. I'm good on skulls and bones. Mainly just want dragon stuff. I see somebody over here. Who this? Hey, Pliskin. What's up? Oh. I guess I brought the whole train over. Meaningless as your life. So the dragon's over there. What is this? Is this a dungeon? Or is this just... Okay, it's nothing. Take 
Dragons are this ways. Get these guys out of the way. Hokey pokey, mate. <laughs> okay, there's there's one. That's the big guy, right? So let's get the babies out first. I'm um, I'm in voice Puskin if you want to be. Not sure if you are. Bum is. Maybe. Get in there, Crom. Oh, he's finding another one up there. Okay. The pride of joy of slaying. Let's try one of these. I'm out of stamina. There's that guy. What's the best tool for these? You'll be mute as the new mic doesn't arrive till Wednesday. Okay. Is it to get dragon horn? Is it pick? Is it butcher's knife? Is it uh, the skinny knife? Let's see what the skinny knife gives me. It gave me dragon horn. Okay. You gonna skin it, Pliskin? I go for it. Okay. What have you been using to skin him? Um, the pickaxe and the knife. I, I get the same amount of uh, horns. Either way. Uh, yeah. Ready to take on the mama? Yeah, I'm ready. She not so bad. Come on, Crom, get in there. There we go. Let's see, I'll stack some bleed first. Stack. Get out of here, please. That one's so annoying. No, but you don't want to be in the front end. Back, <laughs> oh, I You don't see the head. Yeah. But what is the the tell for the spin? Just head down. Right now. Finally managed to stay out of one. All right. All right. So pick 
was established to be the best, huh? Let's get my pick. Uh, we'll put it here for now. Gets a lot of things. Was there anything you're looking for, Pliskin? No, not really. I found out there's uh, chests all over this area that have those fragments in them. Oh yeah? yeah there's one yeah. back here. Boop. That gave oh yeah, that gave a fragment of power. There's more than that one. Yeah, I have found one, two, four locations so far. Oh cool. I wouldn't mind knowing where those are. There's one buried right here. That's not those though. They're in those little chests. Yeah, the little chests. Some of them you have to climb some of the towers. Some of them were easier to get to. Oh, yeah? We got some more coming. Yeah, I hear a little one. Where is that? There's one over here. Might have been a good idea if I put a bedroll down. You know, for the big for the big ones. Although you can get back pretty fast with the obelisk. Oh yeah, this is Bum and Company. Cool. Should we do the green one? Oh, there's more where? Yeah. I'm gonna put a bedroll down up here somewhere. Just being smart. Tend to be smart. I'll do that too. I'll be the one that dies. <laughs> like, ah, I don't need that. I was hanging in there. Our last five levels take a while. How many guys you got following you, Pliskin? Two. Two? So you got max authority going on? Yeah. Max authority and max uh, expertise. <laughs> Carry everything and have two followers. Just for now. I'm gonna see if we can draw out the little guy. If you want to harvest this one, go for it. And then, uh, let's see. Let me see if I can pull out the other little one. Uh -oh. Nope. <laughs> like, were you messing with my baby? Don't you mess with my baby. Oh, 
Digga. Giant creatures. This one doesn't have anything in its inventory. Cool. I am already good on dragon horns now. I got 28 out of that. Awesome. Anybody need uh, dragon bones? Yeah, like I was gonna right toss some out here too for shares. He's in his bag, bum. There is some uh, more dragon bone. All right, let's go see if the other one's back. <laughs> more bones on the ground here too. Well, more bones on the ground. Okay. If you, uh, if any of those little chests are near here, I should actually go look back here and see what's back here. You'd think. There'd be some. There's more bones on the ground, guys. You don't want them? Shouldn't let them despawn. I don't see a chest here unless it got taken and despawned. I guess they don't, they don't want them. What? Oh yeah, they're right, they're right there. Below me. Um. This bow looks so cool. Make sure it's running the right arrows. I think it is. Yeah, I hear uh, another one here. Something growled. spot that has dragons, I just don't remember where it's at. I heard another growl, but I don't see one. Hey, Nicola. Here's one of these. 
Um, this is the hollow bone bow. I got it off of one of those flying crow things on the last episode. And it's the best bow I've had so far. You found that bow? Yeah, I got it off of a demon. What's its damage? Is it stronger than the regular dragon bow? Yeah, with um with the damage modifier it does uh thirty-four. I guess I guess plus the uh, Plus the arrows, I assume. Yeah, I still use iron arrows. I'm using star metal. They, you get enough. They're cheap enough. Yeah. Oh, here's no. Is this a regular one? Um, yeah, I can just take you to the other fragments if you want. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't feel like searching the whole city. Um, it's over by the slave pits over there. Sure. Let's go check it out. In this area, but I haven't found them yet. Thank you, Nicola. One thing I don't like with this game is you can't put down too many uh, marks on the map. Is there a limit? Yeah. I keep ha running out all the time and having to take stuff off. I don't want to. Oh, yeah. I hadn't hit my limit yet. So most of the places, like the name places, give you a mark. The freeze. I had a hard time remembering like where the brimstone cave is and stuff like that. So oh yeah. Crown got another level. He said he did. Maybe was you fourteen before? I guess so. Alright, following you, Pliskin. Where are you at? These towers right here has one on it. I couldn't put a mark on the map for it. Up above? Yeah. Oh, hey, Lie. What's going on? How are you doing? This is cool. Thanks for showing me. I I appreciate them putting them up in obscure places, but I also don't feel like climbing every tower here. <laughs> oh, and this is not the one. It might be on the other one. There's definitely one on this next bridge to our right. You're right. Knowles. If you're a real person, no one here can read that. Which bridge? You're to the right. That depends on which way you're looking. North, uh, south, east, or west. That, that, that right there, yeah. Where? 
So it's east of where you're at. Uh, east is this way. Okay. Upon that big bridge? Yeah. They're not always here either. I've come back here and they're not been one. Come back later and it's there. I wonder either someone grabbed them or maybe they spawn in different locations. Yeah, I think they just spawn randomly. I mean, they're in certain areas, but they just, they're either there or not there. Certain times. Not. <laughs> Spawns are ragman random for the chest, but there are multiple bosses that drop fragments. This one right here, or somewhere else? No, uh, if you look at the end of the bridge, it's the widest looking tower with the statue in the middle. Oh, okay, that big guy. Yeah, on the back side of that. So the building that has the, uh, oh no, that's actually not the building with the map room. So I got two fragments so far. I want to, I'm holding on to those because I, I know one of the steps in the sorcery is going to need five fragments. But uh, if we get more than two more, we can try our luck with the alchemist. The alchemist loot box. Keep trying. Okay. Yeah, apparently he gives out different things. That's the impression I got from the comments anyway when I went to him. Fro was like, oh, watch him get the recipe I've been trying for. Which I didn't get, but <laughs> it made me uh, realize that you could keep trying. Should be right up this side here. Just here. I was climbing straight up the front with the statue. I'm getting corruption the whole way. Yeah, it's gonna be to the right of that statue. I don't even know if you gotta climb that high. Oh, really? Up over here. Uh, stamina before I get here. Oh, it's not here. It'd be right where I'm at. Oh, okay. All right. Well, now I know. Thank you. Definitely a bit of a trek. It's a little thirsty in this area. While I'm here, I'll go, uh, thank you, thank you, Pliskin. I will go try the, uh, dragon a couple more times. Yeah, they're the little chest, Bum. Not the, um, the regular chests. They're those little special relic chests.
Yeah, let's see who's back. You guys really want to die again, huh? Pride and joy of slaying. Need a little attitude adjustment there, Crom. Just saying. Alright, here's Mama. Good night, sweetie. Let's see if there's any babies first. Yeah, there's a baby. There's another baby. There's another baby. Leave that one for you to harvest, Pliskin. I need to get a little bit. Ouch! Hey, no roasting me. Did. Awesome. And does their um, chest respawn? No, oh, not that fast. Not as fast as they do. Let's go see how Green Boy's doing. Oh, he's got another baby over here. This weird arrow disappeared halfway through. They don't always uh, animate the whole way, but I do see the hit, so... Hey, you weren't near me.
baby. Do we need more than 20 of those horns? No. Yeah, I've got more than enough just running around just now. I got uh, 73 of them. <laughs> If you need some more, let me know. I can definitely share. I use them for making weapons sometimes, too. This one's not showing his health bar. Go for it. You guys harvest it. Kill babies. Uh, the one's hiding behind the steps. Huh? I feel like I could probably take the mamas on my own. It'd just be take a lot longer. You think so? I'm not getting health bars now. Hey, we managed to pull it by itself though. Points in the strength, every fourth hit would be doing 20% more damage. Yeah, I first specced in strength, and then I started liking the uh, sword and shield. And that strength doesn't help a bit. I was a little bit stronger. But... Yeah, I just want half strength. Because I'm still doing. The full agility. Even though there's a lot less agility weapons than there are strength weapons. I just I like having the agility. These guys have some broken reach. This one just doesn't have an inventory. Yeah. 
Yeah. It was just regular stuff. Have you guys gotten enough dragon horn bum? You need some more? Oh. Happy dad. Yeah, let me know bum if you guys need any. His followers are gliding. <laughs> <laughs> You would take more? What do you mean it's wasteful for you? Can I... can't split it, but I can... What I can do is, uh... Take, uh... Take, like, 40 of it. Alright, here's 33 horns. Someone wants to take some of that. Hey, Adam. What's going on, man? Um, so, probably going to be a minute before these ones respawn again. That is enough for me to at least progress with sorcery. Chilling. Uh, I have one, I think one extra fragment now. Let's go trade it to the Archivist and see what we get. And then we'll head home and see what it wants for the next sorcery thing. Have I done the sunken city yet? No. Is that one the one in the far east? But uh, it might be more than I can fight off today. Maybe we'll do that for tomorrow's stream. I'm not going to go too long today. Small tribute to Last of Oasis. You know you can build a base entirely of roof tiles to avoid major decay and supply needed for upkeep. On uh, Last Oasis. <laughs> That's funny. Get this guy, get some demon blood. What'd you say, Pliska? Nobody's power is just punching. Drawing a weapon. Oh. I think, it, I think it might be yours. Yeah, he ran towards you. No, he's he's got his axe out. Get your butt kick, Crumb. Die, outsider. <laughs> outsider. I think he belongs here. Seen how effective he is. <laughs> As well. Do you think me and my mates will get into Harry Potter? Probably not. Nobody has talked about it. I don't I don't personally have any excitement for it. You know the one I do want to play coming up in October, but uh I don't I don't know if I will is uh Bayonetta actually. <laughs> it looks really cool. Um but that's only on Switch. We have a Switch. I could hook it up to the computer, but uh I don't know how many people would want to see me play that. New scroll. What do I get? K 
kiln. I learned kiln from library of library of esoteric artifacts. Next year is Homeworld Three. I saw a little bit about that. I forget about it though. I forget about it. Can't I go home from here? Apparently not. <laughs> All right. I was like gonna use the map, but you can't use. It. No, you can't. All right, we got a long journey back then. Long journey back. Yeah, maybe maybe tomorrow for the stream we'll do the sunken city. I definitely wanted to do some stuff in the east. The followers always stand right in the door. Yeah. Keep going forward, Pliskin, your guy. There he is. I found it. I did. It took me about seven circles of the room. I was looking for that E. God take you. <laughs> but the, even when I was looking straight at that one, I did not see it initially. Uh, I want to go check the den, see if there is a uh, follower, uh, a uh, what you call it, a name bearer out front of it. Sometimes there's a name bearer out front of it. I that's kind of my marker when I can get another named bearer or a named bearer I want to uh, let go of Beast of Burden Alphabo will do the job but it gives me a nice marker for that I have the best bearer possible I went looking for it because of you, Momo. You're like, maybe you should have a better look in the archives. What's up, Warlord? How you doing? One thing I miss with not having uh, leveled out in strength is I can't climb as high as I used to. I used to have so much stamina. Isn't that grit? Uh, it might have been. Yeah, grit is the stamina. I miss that too, although yeah. full agility lets me um, climb faster. So I don't have as much stamina, but I can get there faster. Krom, you're about to get bit. This is where it's at, right? Yeah, right here. Got to work in the morning. A lot of water for the hurricane, which is not going to hit your area. You're in Florida? Yeah, I'm just uh, here in California. We got a little bit of rain last week. Not a lot. Um, it was actually, that's the back side, right? It's over here. This is still the back side. Alright. Somebody knew about me. Let's see who you are. We do need to do a bunch of this. So this will be our chance for that. Did you move, Crow? Please. Thank you. Okay, we're not going to bother with the little junks today. Mossy Head, Florida. 45 minutes to one hour to the beach. Nice. Alright, Pharrell. 
You are blocking the passage. I guess I can go through your gate, but uh, you should leave this open. I don't know if you're watching. So people can run through. It's not everybody's in the clan. Oh crap, I was trying to shut the gate in time. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I hadn't seen her place built yet. This is looking pretty cool. It's looking like a... Uh... Well, I don't want to say ruins, because I don't want to say it looks like it's destroyed, but it is look kind of has that look. That archaeological look. Back into a little storm glass area. Historic, yes. But it does need a passage back here. You can't make people run all the way around to get through here. I mean, for someone in the clan, it's fine, but... Which most people are, but it also gives us the possibility to let things into your base, which is probably not ideal for you. <laughs> Kamish, what's up? You live about 40 minutes from the beach? Yeah, I'm like 10 minutes from a beach, but yeah, it's way too cold. I'm up in the, you know, Northern California Pacific Ocean, and even though the south has nice beaches down by Santa Barbara and stuff up here, there's people who get in, but they got the full wetsuit thing going on. That's, that's a different thing. That's a different thing. Alright. So, if we get into battle... Um, Krom can't switch weapons, but if I... Have it out first, he's good. But then, he'll be a little useless if this is somebody I want. Is it? Nope, it's not. You're not... You're not. Okay, there was enough time for him to switch. Bears do have those packages though, which are pretty nice. Just kind of assumed all of Cali would be lovely in warm water. No. You're doing well? Excellent. Just did a four hour round trip to pick up a friend from an airport. You, that is proof that you are a good friend. For sure. No, it's only so Southern Cal, SoCal, that has the, uh, the warm water. The currents in the Pacific go um, clockwise and they work their way down and I guess they get warmer as they go down but um, the ones that hit us are coming down from Alaska um, and uh, yeah there's a whole thing about the colonization of California because of that the Spaniards took forever to work up the coast because they were going against the, uh, the current against the tide That did get you the other side of the country. I'm not surprised. I traveled in Europe once when I was about 20. I'm gonna run around and just see if I... I should have left him outside. All right, come here, come here, buddy. Let's leave you over here because you might get mobbed. I just wanna see if there's a name bearer somewhere in there. Come here. Oh 
Oh my god. Well, I'll get my Dracato tributes. Oh, what are you? You're three. We've got a three. I want a named one. Oh my god. <laughs> their head. And this their head is attached to the uh, the backpack. Hold still. <laughs> oh my god. So are you over here or over there? I guess you're over there. Oh shoot, I've been using the wrong one. I don't need that, I need this. Alright, we're gonna have to kill some more people. <sighs> I need that. You got eggs, I'll take eggs. Fine. Such a hoarder. What's going on, sweetie? Okay. All right, let's put Krom here. I have him stand guard. Cause I just want to do a run through and see if I can see a named bearer. They're easy to spot, at least. <laughs> Game is kicking your behind? It can be rough. You definitely gotta get your, uh... Your fighting down. If you don't get your fighting down, you gotta get, uh... Followers who will help you out. Or just run away a lot. <laughs> run away. Look at all my friends. They all love me. They want an autograph. Sorry guys, no time for autographs today. I've got to go. I took my herbal teas off my bar. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, oh, she's got elf Elphaba's voice. Yeah, I didn't see any more bearers. There's none there. I can taste your stench, you. There is a strange scent on the wind. <laughs> Sorry, I'll go home and bathe. All right, no luck today. Have I heard of Eve Online? I certainly have. I can taste your stench, human. That is a deep dive, and I think it's kind of late for it, isn't it? Game's getting a bit dated now. But yeah, that was like the all-consuming, life-stealing space MMO. Huh? Spreadsheets in space. <laughs> huh? Yeah, exactly. You're only 28? Oh, level 28. Well, leveling is not the hardest part. Apparently I'm hungry. Oh, there's someone I didn't harvest there. Follow me. And 
We got a little defending to do. Alright, let's get a few more slivers. We actually need a lot more slivers. But yeah, this is usually my spot to look for bearers. You want to play with your sister, but also want to be with your boyfriend, so not much time? Got to choose your priorities. Taste your stench. Too bad you can't get your boyfriend to play with you and your sister. I'm single at the moment, so I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> at some point, I don't know. Might be nice to be able to worry about that, but then it has its own... It's got pluses and pros and cons. That was a high priest. Okay. I might have wanted them for my temple, huh? Oh, hi. I was a little late. But, uh, a Jebel Sag is different than Dur Durketo? Or are they the same? I'm confused. Not a game for him. But, that, but this way I will be at end game too fast. I don't know. Doesn't sound, sound like you're racing too fast if you're still level 28. There are people here who are definitely at end game. Not me. Can you harvest these with these guys? All oh, right, I need to eat. Oh, wrong thing. All right, let's eat. Oh my God! Look at all that flesh. A little clear over what I've been doing. I guess he's just a hyena, huh? Where'd she go? Hate to waste your body. Freeing them all from their brainwashing the hard way. Ooh, a nice metal deposit here. They were doing naughty things. Go get him. He sounds like he's saying something really inappropriate there. Oh, 
Well, if I took anybody home, it should would it should have been those priests. But uh, does anybody know the answer to that question? What's the priest for Decetto? Are Decetto and Jebel Sog different? I should know that. Do I have the spell escalate? I mean, there's the escalate, but uh, that doesn't bring you up, as far as I can tell. It's just you have to have 20% to uh, to to use it to go up to the next level. It's like it's the next folder level higher. It's not actually a spell. I tried. I was hoping it was. But I can do it with the bruise now. That was the answer. Yeah, the corruption bruise were, were the solution. Oh, Stovebound. That's the name Cook. Alright, maybe we'll take them home. Which one of you? You're the Cook. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Let me switch to this. Oh, too late. Crown. Don't kill my Cook. Oh, man. Oh well. <laughs> I should have switched weapons sooner. Don't really need another name cook, but I mean, I could. I've got places they could be, but alas, it's tricky when you have a follower. He can switch weapons with me, but I got to do it before he engages in combat. Once he's engaged, he won't switch. All right. I think we've done enough harm here. How many do I got? I got, oh, I got 54 of these. Yeah, I think that will get me. I think that'll get me there. All right, this guy wants to fight. Could manually change weapons. Yeah, I just have to get in there real quick and pull it from him, I guess. Yeah, it's just when you're in the middle of a fight, that's a lot harder to do. This is way more convenient. But you gotta kind of plan for that. And do it before he knows anything. Blacksmith. Cook. See, now he's using the... Double side will guide me to the dark land. He's using the, uh, the, the uh, the bonker. Oh, he actually knocked this one out. All right, you're spared. <laughs> you're spared. All right, what's our quickest way home from here? We need to go... Uh, probably still out here. 
All right, nobody's coming home with us. Oh, we got new people out here, though. Oh, there's another bear. Let's go home. Now who put all these here? That's not cool. No. Uh, ba -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do yeah, that is breaking immersion. Having all those right there. That is against the rules. I'll have wooden twine. Yeah, I'm not down with people just putting those right outside these places. If you want to put them off discreetly somewhere else, that's fine. But having them right outside... Yeah, that just kind of spoils it. We needed some fiber. Mix some twine. Can we do this now? Can we make 12 twine? How much twine can we make? Yeah, I mean, if you're going to do it right now and put them down and do it, I guess. But just to leave them here? It just makes it look like a game, you know? It makes it look like you're playing a game rather than you're living in the exiled lands. Because it just doesn't make any sense that they'd be sitting there like that. You know could do it up there at cores. That makes more sense. I'm going to be nice, though, and just not um, drop all their things on the ground, which I should do. I don't know if these will all fit in here. Ooh. What do these take to make? Stone, iron bars, and torches. Okay. Probably gave him a profit off of that. And three torches. Unfortunately, I can't make a sign on the fly. But uh, if you're watching this, do not do this. I'm going to start just destroying them if I find them like that. Because it's too much of my time to put them away. But I do not condone a map littered with that kind of stuff.
I mean, having a box there like that, where you throw it out just for the moment you're using it, and then put the stuff back in the box, that's pretty low-key. But otherwise, we'll just have, like, wheels of pain and sacrificial stones dotted everywhere. So what you're saying is leave the clan so you can't easily break it? I could break it. There are commands. I'm gonna put a stairwell here. To go up to there. That's not terrible. Doing stuff like that. It looks terrible though. If you're gonna do this, make it look nicer. So that looks bad. Make a nice one. Put a little effort into it. If it's gonna be something that stays on the map, put a little effort into it. Got one of those broken AoEs. The bright joy slaying. Tease. <laughs> yeah. Oh, another one. Die, outsider. Oh, God. Yay! Oh, he's still- no, he doesn't. He's got his axe. He's got his axe. Yeah, he's good. Uh, which one I harvest this with? Probably a pick, I guess? Um... Hey, James, did you build the, uh, staircase? Right here? That one? Whoever built that made it needs to make it prettier. If that's gonna stay there like that, that doesn't look very good. Not you? There is a chest here somewhere that I just got the key for. I think it was in by one of these trees. I got a really nice shield out of here last time. That's where I got the, uh... Oh, look at a baby alligator. I don't really need an alligator, but... I'll take it. <laughs> Crom, can you handle that nuisance, please? Where was it? It's back in here somewhere. Unless it's already despawned. Do I think so poorly of your builds? <laughs> no, yours look prettier than that. I just... I wouldn't put it past you to put a, just like a utility staircase up and not worry about it. But no, I'm not saying you build badly. There are just some people who are more focused on progress than I am. And there's really like no real need to make it nicer. It's just me being funny. 
I guess it's not here right now. There is a loot chest here somewhere, though. Unless I'm missing it. That's why I killed that guy. Where is my skinning knife? It's a problem when your inventory gets too full. <laughs> and you're kind of blind. You're done with progress? Did you get the whole end game done? You're so many light years ahead of me. Not ahead, because uh, it's not a race, but I am nowhere near end game. So many things I haven't done. It's gonna take me months to get where you were last week. <laughs> there is a search bar? Oh, yeah. That's that's work. Yeah, I feel like it was, like, next to one of these trees back here. So someone must have got it recently or something. Because I don't see it in here anywhere. I know there's another one right near me. So we could just go loot that one. The white tiger's box. I did good in this box last time, though. So I was looking for it. It's just sort of stuck in the ground next to the tree, if I remember right. I'm being a critical puzzle today. No, I'm just... As I run around, as the map develops... Uh, people have gone far enough in the game that I know that this is going to be an issue. And I've been pointing it out in the rules and stuff, but... Uh, you know, people are going for the utilitarian stuff now, and... Uh, I don't mind, like, nice little fobs put out of the way. Um, but if we're going to leave stuff on the map, it's got to fit in with the rules. And the rules are all about leaving a nice map. Is it, is it game over? Or? Well, don't tell me, but, um, from what it sounded like, it was game over once you removed the bracelet, which... But the purpose of the map means I'll probably never remove the bracelet. So yeah, unfortunately that's one of my jobs as admin is to kind of set guidelines around how people use the map. We want to keep it nice. Yeah, so this one belongs to that guy. But I can use the same thing on the papyrus blade. You're not sure? I've just heard the rumors like me. Yeah, if it makes you leave the map, that's like... That's harsh. <laughs> Do I want to know the answer? Uh, no. We'll leave that in the air for now. Pyrus Blade. Strength weapon. Got good damage. 61. Yeah, we might uh, put the uh, weapon thing. This one only does 
60 and it's upgraded. So you might be switching out here, Chrome. Well, we don't want to necessarily end the map, Kamish. We want to um, link it so you can go back and forth between them. Unless people want a fresh start on Sipto, but then it could be their choice. We can do it at the same time and then roll back if needed. Yeah, I was thinking we could do a save. And then uh, roll back. Pretty sure your, your character is saved with the map, right? Not in your client. Oh, that's funny because Steam does complain about not being synced sometimes, but... I would think that the character data would be saved on the map. So if we do a backup... I guess you could do a backup of your local save files, too, just to be sure. But that's some serious endgame if, like, that's it, you're done. No new game plus. <laughs> Map over. Okay, so I could clean my inventory, but uh, let's do a few things here. So, one is we want to get up to 75 of these. So, let's put all the bugs over here. And let's see. I do search sometimes. Boop. And then let's put the these here. And let's see how many of these we can make. Oh, we can make 43. All right, well, let's make um, one. Let's just make enough in case we need them for something else. And we'll do one, two, three, four. That should be enough to get us to the point where we can upgrade this thing. Then we'll need hardened brick, shaped wood, and steel reinforcements. I'm sure you can Google it. So we need that, and that, and, uh, we actually no hardened brick up here. So we'll get Durketto upgraded. For the second time. Achieve its final form. Boop, boop, and boop. Baby crocodile. Um, we're not there yet. This is gonna take a long time. Oh, and there, you can put a priest in here. I'll have to see what that gets you. Keto is the half-dead lady. I just didn't read that before. They're two different gods. So the Jebel Sag priest wouldn't have helped me. Okay. Jebel Sag is the Midnight Grove. Yeah. I guess I just bought Durketto with my knowledge points. Because, yeah, I never, I never went to their temple yet. Okay. So we got that going. And the other thing we can do now is we've got the, um, the dragon horns. So we can go to the next level of sorcery. And see... What it wants for the next one. Okay, let's do it. Give me that RGB... Abyssal Bow, Abyssal Maul. Awesome. Okay, and then what's the next one now? Black Blood. We wouldn't got that last time. And let's put... Uh, these two in here. We got five in there now. Black Blood.
I just got some. Did I not throw it in here? Maybe I did leave it up there. <laughs> Is it in one of the boxes up here? We just went and got some of that last episode. There it is. Black blood. We'll get that too. And let's throw all that in there. Where'd the black stuff go? Boom. Okay. Oh, dragon powder. Crap. Okay, didn't see that. Alright, we need 10 dragon powder. Uh, maybe... Go down there, Crown. I don't know if I got more demon blood downstairs. I probably do. Uh, but let's take some of this with me, because I have a feeling I might need it. For the dragon blood. All right. Dragon powder. Can't see anything. Uh, do you make it in here? No, maybe, I don't know. Is it one of the things you have to make back here? Or is it in here? There was no, oh, dragon powder. Here it is. Okay. Steel fire, lots of steel fire. And I just set him to using all that but we got some left cool um maybe we should make the improve one of these now too because it will this looks a little expensive now we needed 10 of these i don't know how many we get all right where's my hammer <laughs> give up oh there it is It was the Precision Fire Bowl Cauldron. Hardened brick, insulated wood, hardened steel bar, and a chemical powder. Or goop. Uh, all right, we've got a chemical stuff. It was uh, insulated wood. It was hardened brick what else was it hardened steel bar 200 of them. oh my goodness it's gonna take us a while to recoup the expense of this first run you tame is a greater one well, it's good for defense I guess bad for um, riding Move these out of the way. See if we can fit it in there. Oh my goodness. Is that the thing? Yeah, that's the thing. Did I not get the, uh, the hardened steel bars? It's not. Is it even going to fit in here now? It could, if I moved other things. This also could go into the, um, up there. Uh, let's move the grinder over for now. I don't know if there is an improvement to the grinder. I'm gonna have a little home decorating to do after today.
This is large. They really want to go out to here. Alright, maybe this one goes upstairs. It's so big. It's really big. I just don't want to have to run up here with mats all the time, but if we move enough stuff up here that belongs, eventually we'll just keep the right stuff next to it. Once I know what those are... Mm, let's see if that does it. Yeah, that about works there. Alright, is this any cheaper in here? It's a little bit. Demon blood, brimstone, crystal, steel fire. I just brought some demon blood. Brimstone and crystal. Okay. Looks like I planned that. I did know some tier 4 stuff could go in those. That was an idea. Um, here, let's get rid of all these severed things in my inventory. <laughs> Put some of you there. And some of you in that one. It's gross. Okay, and then the rest of these will juice them. I was seeing if you could squish the dead sorcerer's map, but you cannot. <laughs> Someone said you could do something with the uh, failed spells. Well, they're having a little fight out here. Sounds like it was just a boar. Oh, brimstone and crystal. I do... I think dragon powder is what you need for explosives anyway, I think. So, I might as well learn how to make some of that. Ooh, do I still... I don't have the torches in my inventory. The white torches. Need some down there, apparently. Are you still doing your thing? Almost done. Almost done. And that's going to take a while, too, to upgrade. Don't need you. Okay, we'll put some of that. Oh, no, that was just for building it. Uh, we needed... The... What did we need? We needed the brimstone and the crystal. Boop and boop. Okay. We can make ten. I think that's how many we needed. What's the limiter? Oh, it's the steel fire, yeah. Well, it's going. Let's go put a little bit more steel fire in it. And we'll have some dragon powder for something else if we need it. The, uh, what was it? The explosive arrows? Explosive arrows take dragon powder, yeah. Um, I'm gonna take that from you. Sorry, bud. And eventually, I'll figure out everything I want to put up in this one. So I don't have to do the run all the time. Boop. I'll make about ten of those. Oh man, that's still making the first one. I guess I could have made the speedy one, but I chose the... Uh, the more uh, thrifty one. Okay, now we can go to upgrade to Pleasure Palace. Absolutely.
I don't know if this is really the pleasure dome. It's not quite uh, well, how I would imagine it. <laughs> if I designed a pleasure dome, it would look a little bit more pleasurable than that. What's up, Surly? How you doing? We're just wrapping up here. Um, so we got that upgrading. We got the demon, demon powder making. Uh, let me just empty my inventory a little bit while we wait. And those will probably be the last two things we do uh, today. And I'll be back tomorrow. And we'll do a bunch of stuff. Uh, let's put that in here for now. We'll do a bunch of stuff. Probably do the sunken city unless there's I don't really know the order in which to do things, so... Yeah. Those slivers in my altar have a decay timer? Okay. Um, well, I'm gonna wait till we upgrade to see if there's something else that I can be making with them. See if we get any new stuff, and I guess if I find a um, priest to put in there, we might get another recipe as well. But I won't wait on that. Get all those going. I'm getting a surplus of dragon bone faster than I can use it. heads in there. Let's see what goodies we got. What did we get? We got... I didn't get to see what that gave me. Something. Wood and alchemical base. Ooh, 250 alchemical base. One cloth pouch. Meh. More alchemical base and bear pelts. That's nice. Alright. Some fiber and stone. And he gave me a stack of bear pelt. Get those crafting. Dragon bone arrows are good. They're not as good as star metal arrows. This one's coming. This one's still oh, not even halfway there. <laughs> Hurry up! Alright. Yeah, right now the only thing I make out of them is the Elixirs of Freedom. Don't really need anything else in here, although... the um, This is tempting, making the uh, compost. Because otherwise it uses the ash from the volcano. We do need to go back up to the volcano. We didn't get very far into that area last time. So that's a thing. I've been putting just the feral flesh in here in order to just turn it into putrid meat faster. All my extra meats. I get way more meats than I can actually use. Well, that was a nice boon. On this stuff. Guess we can put this back together now. Although I don't know when we'd ever use these now if we have the other one. So that, these might be going. We'll put them back for now. Black ice arrows are pretty good. 
this expensive and time consuming. I mean, I finally get enough arrows that making them out of star metal is not that bad. Um, the star metals do 20. Steel's 12, that's 14. Although the, the razor arrows do have a lot more armor penetration. Uh, there's the poison ones, the oil ones. I don't think I have the recipe for black ice ones. And dragon ones do 20. Oh, are they the same as the star metal? Okay, that's equivalent. Yeah, so we could do dragon bone. I had hardened steel, if that's what you mean by the black ice ones. They do 15. So I've been doing star metal because they're 20, but those are 22. And we got a crap load dragon bone. Although you can see I'm still like well ahead on my uh, arrow supply here. And I've just been throwing the cheap arrows out that I pick up because I'll never use them. And I always just top up my stack to 100 seems to get me through an adventure each time. I gotta get me a spider too. I'm still feeding my putrid meat to a uh, sand reaper. Which is okay. It adds up over time. But apparently, spider gives you a better rate. So we need that. Oh, you can forge arrows. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, I haven't found that recipe yet. Hopefully I will. Hardened plus black ice, huh? Oop, one more. Man. <laughs> they make you pay for that economy. Mm. But I can always uh, set it up Stuff that takes a long time like that, I'd rather save the mats and just set it off and log off. Set it up and log off. That's what I normally do. Got so many dead sorcerers map. I don't know why I'm saving them. I should probably just toss them. Just keep thinking that there's something I can do with them. And also all the Skellos cultist masters. <laughs> there's gotta be a way I can break them down into something, right? Hey, 10 dragon powder. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, here we go. Craft the next spell. No. Abyssal armor. Ooh, I heard that's pretty good. Okay. Let's see how we do that. Abyssal armor. We need a heavy padding. And... So just one. And a sacrificial blood. We are out of sacrificial blood at the moment. I think I got extra heavy paddings made. I have to make them in here now. Because I can't make them otherwise. Let's grab that. Alright. We'll go grab uh, a poor euthanasia victim. Um, 
someone who will never be themselves again, and who we are doing a mercy to uh, euthanize. We have a private room for this now. So we need that. Do that and that. Oh yeah, I just got that last stream. The one you were starting to watch when I started this one. I can tell you where if you want. funny how close mercy sounds to murder. Well, you know, Zula is a realist. She doesn't pretend that some of the things she has to do aren't terrible things, but this is a terrible place, and terrible things have already happened to everybody here. So, it's kind of like, you know, Mad Max running around in a wasteland, everybody trying to kill you. I can save some of them, but I can't save them all. And according to her story, the folks who aren't name thralls are ones that will never be themselves again. Everybody here has been brainwashed by the dark forces, and some of them will just never be right again. So by doing this, we're it's a mercy. All right, we're going to go just knock everybody out here. I could also equip uh, this and save me a little bit of headache. Should have killed the boar first. I'm going to need to put these back on the bar here. Can I knock out the boar? <laughs> yeah, let's uh handle this real quick. Alright. No, you're blowing it, buddy. Oh, you're fine. Okay, let me give you that. He was fine. I just thought he had the axe out. Alright, he's down. He's down. Ooh, you got moves. Okay. That's everybody's. Yeah, I'll, I'll come back and um, build up my supply. <laughs> sure. Okay, there, um, just up that way, there are some bonfires on the edge of the uh, mountains. Just as it's getting cold, it's kind of climbing up that a ways. And uh, there are these big, uh, kind of humanoid bird like creatures. And the mini bosses among them deep into the caves where you see the bonfires the mini bosses there uh, give black blood they're hard to kill though so come prepared and take precautions with the bedroll and stuff I managed to do it me and a broken demon who didn't fight at all <laughs> but it got it was kind of hairy it was kind of hairy I drank a lot of potions You know, so this isn't easy. I mean, it's the same if you're a rancher and you gotta put your animals down, or pet owner and you gotta put your beloved Fifi down, whatever. It's like, not that these are animals, they're people, but sometimes you gotta do harsh things. Because uh, the place calls for it. And we did make a nice discreet room for it. 
over here. Be done in privacy. And yeah. Fortunately, it does not let you step away from it. But I can look away. Crom's giving me that look like. I'm not sure about this job. Are you doing that stuff again? And then he gets back to freeing his armor. That's as sightly as I can make it. A Scartlonian Ridgeline? Is that what it's called? It was in H10. It was, uh... It was up here somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where. Uh, it was maybe here. It was this. Jill's Roost. I think. I think it was these two. Jill's Roost and Lockstone Cave? I think. Time for the water slide. That's the, uh, this one's the water slide. <laughs> yeah. As you see, we got a, we got a little room for it now, Raleigh. Can do it with discreet. And this has become the uh, little sorcery room. I still got to RP it up with some decorations, but yeah. Alrighty, let's see. We've got the padding, we've got this. Let's see what happens. Brought in the dead guy. Oh, he's a demon. We summoned like a demon wearing it, and then he died with it on? What the hell? Alright, there's the boots, and the gloves, and the helm, and the leggings, and the mail. Well, shoot. Was it the doing of it? I should have paid more attention. That gave me the 50%? Or did, uh... Was it the wearing of it? And what does it give me? It gives me 10 strength damage and 10 agility. It gives me 60 health. It's light armor, but it has 350. And it expires in an hour. Wow. Wearing it does, huh? So interesting trade off. Same thing happened with the bow. Yeah, I haven't done the bow yet. Um, let's see. Let's get Luba out. See if she can repair me. No, she can't. I'm losing and gaining. Okay, so it keeps you at 50%. Killing with the bow, refresh the timer. I also wanted to see if you could add anything to this armor. I'm just going to suspect that you can't. So we should be below um, an hour now. Because it's been going down. Let's see. I gotta give this to my guy. <laughs> and that put it all the way back up. 
So you gotta kill at least one thing every hour? Wow. And it's interesting. So it gives me... Oh, this gives follower damage. That gives health. It gives 60 health. Carrying capacity plus 30. Health plus 60. So it gives 120 health. Stamina 15. So, but it takes half of your health. So does that mean it just gives you 60 health? Alright. I gotta... Oh, and it smokes. Look at that. I have to, um... Get a solid idea of what my health actually is. <laughs> it stops when off your inventory. Oh, really? So I can put it over here. And... Oh, out of my inventory entirely. Okay. Interesting armor. Quite the trade-off. I mean, I guess it's good if you were running heavy sorcery. And you're going to be at half anyway. But if you're going to be at... Um, if you don't want to be half... Then, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, go get some levels. While I pick up somebody else. It's interesting looking. I don't totally care for the hat. But it's got a lot of armor. A lot of different stats, but there's a lot of other armors that have those stats. I guess it's got a kind of a broader spread than all of them. Alright, you're not making much progress here, bro. You gotta do a little bit better than that. Oh, do you have... Oh, he's just got his truncheon. I didn't give him his axe back. <laughs> That's the problem here. That's the problem here. I'm like, why is he not doing anything to this guy? Uh, here's your axe back. And we'll give you this as soon as I upgrade it. Ah, uh, yes. That's the proper thing. Oh, I had a skin corpses thing. Okay. I don't think I have any multipliers yet, though. It's still for imps. Do that. Do that. Let's re-roll imps. I don't come across imps too often. Craft an armor piece. We could do that. Half is the new full. <laughs> they say my thing's half full. Not half empty. But, uh... Yeah, interesting. Definitely goes well with the sorcerer build. Especially because it gets you all corrupted straight away, huh? And it's also helpful if you want to do corrupted things, but you don't want to put your dancers away. And make sure you don't lose that corruption. Well balanced, though, I think, definitely, as far as, like, pros and cons. Otherwise, it would just be OP. If you're good and you don't get hit a lot, I think it's pretty good. By the way, that's the view up now. I totally dig it. 
But yeah, you can't be a pacifist and wear it. <laughs> or you'll lose it. Travelina, don't be putting wiki stuff in the chat. I guess there is a little water slide going on there. <laughs> Ooh, I'm not looking good. I need some moisturizer. Yeah. Hard life is catching up with me. Is catching up. You pay for your ways. Alright, anyway, I need to drag the rest of those guys over here, but we don't need to do it all on stream. Um, let's just try one more of the new things. Oh, and we didn't look at what we need for the next level of sorcery either. There will be an end. Oh, it's up here. I forgot. That's the old place it used to be. The next one. That was more black blood. We could do this. Let's do it. And this is where the five fragments came in. So I did save those. I should have turned my uh, head off when I did this. So I could take a good picture. What did we get? Did you guys see it? I missed it. Gosh darn it, we're gonna have to look at knowledge. Unless one of you guys saw it. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, lightning storm. Okay. I know what that is. We can call that in a minute. What's the next level? Black blood. Oh, we're out of sorcerer pages. Okay. Witch fire powder. What does that take? I don't even know I can make it. I don't see it here. All right, we have to get the recipe for that somewhere. Hmm. Witch fire. What itch? Bag of... Oh, crafted that alchemy bench. I found it. So I'm gonna make it here. Witch fire powder. It's just glowing essence and brimstone. What's my problem? Mostly fine. I'm a little hungry. Um, glowing essences. I've been saving them. I haven't made any yet. And brimstone. I think it was a hundred, right? That it wanted. How much do I get each? One. Okay, so I'm gonna need to make that many more glowing essences. So I'm gonna need to make seventy-four 
glowing essence. What do they take? I've never made one. Aloe and glowing goo. Okay. Glowing goop and aloe. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Did I not grab the aloe? I did. There it is. Okay. Uh, we can make 99. Sure. And then after that... We can make 98 witch powder. Sure. <laughs> Alright, well, it looks like this will be ready for the next stream, guys. So, I'll save that up. Get ready for it. We've got enough black blood still. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, the beginning of the next stream, remind me. We'll do the next level of sorcery. Until then, folks. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. For this bonus Monday stream. Indeed. Oh, man, I don't look so good. <laughs> you wanted to get that done today? Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna do it next stream. Okay, dude, you gotta get out of the way. You're doing a little photo bomb here. Can we this this is good? This is pretty good. We could sign out like that. Alright everybody. Thank you for joining. Had a little four hour, 13 minute bonus Monday stream. We will be back tomorrow. Um, I guess we're supposed to turn the purge on again tomorrow. I also want to do some uh, more exploring content. So, oh, and Durket, oh, before we go, Durketto has updated. Now we got this. All right. This is the Pleasure Palace. Step right up for pleasure. Mm -hmm. Did we get anything new out of that? Uh, there's a powerful sword now. The Lust Taker. Indeed. Everything else looks kind of the same. Alright, we'll go ahead and make the rest of our potions use those up. Well, I probably might have to grab some more bugs. We don't want the rest of this to go to waste. And that will actually give us more of these anyway. We could upgrade our uh, dagger. Um, but I guess the sword was the new thing. I made the ones from here, by the way. The Zathite daggers. And they were not that good. <laughs> they were not as good as what I've got. Because uh, they're iron grade. So, yeah. Uh, but, we might as well have upgraded it. I'm not sure about the positioning of the two beams of light now. <laughs> as far as how they line up with the tower. But hey. Whatever. Anyway, yeah, we're still going to sign out right now. Thank you everybody for joining. Um, we'll figure out what, uh, what POI we want to do tomorrow. So, yeah, you all let me know um, what you think we should do. Uh, I was thinking about the Sunken City, uh, or at least some stuff back in the east in the jungle. And there's two obelisks in the jungle, I think they're in the jungle, that I have not opened up yet. So there's a whole, actually a whole portion of the map up here. I think this whole area that's still kind of under the fog that we can open up. I haven't been there. But, uh, there's cool stuff around here, I know, and here. Still haven't done the, um, Black Flag City. I do know that's where I'll get the spider eggs. So, yeah. Um, but I'm open. There's other things I don't even know where they are. Don't tell me, like, uh, Travelina was just talking about the Black Keep. I don't even know where the Black Keep is. I'm assuming it's up here, but I don't know. Um, and there's War Makers, I know that, we could do. And there's the, um, Dungeon of Set, I think, over here we could do. Um, but yeah, I don't even know where all the dungeons are yet, which is cool. It means I can discover them. Anyway, that being that, thank you everybody for joining me for this bonus one. 
and the hanging out it's so great to have everybody in game and not in game everybody in chat and if you watch this later too power to you let me know if you do watch them later i really dig it when people are like hey i watched the whole vod afterwards and i'm watching them all there's a lot of people who do that it's really cool um and down below if you want to get your own server this server is sponsored by g portal if you want to get your own and save 10 percent, you can use my link down there and that will guarantee that g portal keeps sponsoring our crew with more servers and we can be fast and free with them um gives us gives me a lot more um leeway to make more servers and add more slots on them and stuff like that and if you want to join us uh, you can become a patron of a raleigh or i and that will get you in here and uh, you get into the iron mine server or the geeks if you're over with the raleigh and um, have access to all of our stuff so yeah anyway thank you all for watching to the end of this one i will see you all in the next one bye bye